kick hit. Did his tail. Epstein boots it downfield, and we're underway. Pryor catches it back at the eight. Catches a tackle, back down at the 30. Logan Pryor is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Americans will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Pryor makes the catch on the right sideline and picks up four on the play. Warren Moon made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Ken Norton Jr. made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. Third down, one yard to go. Thomas will get the third down and converts the third down. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Moon just rifles this one, and they get the first on third and long. Irving Fryer faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they moved the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. Thomas catches it left sideline and is at the 30. Left down at the 39. a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 43. Brought down at the 32. Thurman Thomas must have been pretty lonely out there on his own but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket if you will. A decent play and they'll now face third and short. That's the key then. Make third down easy and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down from the eye. Scott sack at the 36. That will bring it. Leon Scott takes the quarterback deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, and that's going to push them way back. Great defensive play. They came up big, caused the loss of yards, and more important, forced the fourth down. What a play by this defense. You said it, Dan. They're all fired up down there. Hillman lines up for the punt. snap and punts it away. Green fields the punt. Tackle at the 12. There's Green 
feet. Didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Iron Men offense takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 12-yard line. Campbell catches it over the middle, and he's looking for the tackle. Headed down at the 29. Campbell shows off his athletic prowess after he makes the catch here. Oh, that move gives him all those extra yards on the ground. You can't coach that. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First down, two tight ends in the game. Number called on first down and chews up about four on the play. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Just a fresh little pickup. That's all we need. And let's get the first. Some good yards. He gets another call and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. Campbell takes it off the toss and will gain close to six. defense picks it off, allowing him some quality time on the bench to distinguish between his right foot and his wrong foot. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Americans had their last drive stalled at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one. It starts at their 39-yard it's complete for the first time. Irving Fryer enhances this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that bank. Thomas reels in the football and hurdles. One man to beat. Herman Thomas gets some major yardage off this move. Look here. Oh, unbelievable hurdle. That's the first score of the game, and it was very nicely done, Peter. Great execution there. and 
It's good. Don't get good. down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. Obiagelo sends it downfield. Albright fields the kickoff at the nine. The 29. Antoine Albright tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Iron Men were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. They start at their own 29 yard line. Cunningham lets it go deep down the right side, and it's incomplete. Jerry Rice ran a post pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the catch. Potential for a nice play there, but no good. That incompletion will bring up second down. one in. Well, Danny shows great hands and a little wiggle at the end of the play. Tough guy to bring down. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. <laughs> Ooh. Ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. Defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Engman goes in motion. the 27. Nick Park targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Bacon kicks off the pass because he plays the zone so well here, completely snookering the quarterback. That's just how you do it, folks. You can't coach that. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Americans are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own seven-yard line. Bull. Brings up second down.
kind of pickups would be nope. Thurman Thomas played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, you got to know where you are on the field at all times. He knew where he needed to get, and he got it. Second down. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Ron Scott was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him on it. That's a neutral zone infraction. First down, five yards to go. Establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Dixon gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Campbell goes in motion. Snags the football, and then he's off to the races for a gigantic run back. 
I bet cash money he doesn't see a pass come near him for the rest of the game. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Americans got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They start at the 20. Rashad Ogiwajan misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Americans enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Americans are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Not much action early on, so we'll pick it up early in the second quarter. Dixon is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. The Americans, now in the second quarter, Pryor had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 39-yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. Midway through the second, the Ironmen losing by seven. Cunningham is back to throw this time, and he's gonna look for his big old tight end, and it's a big game. The Americans, late in the second quarter, Smith came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 77-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Americans leading 14 to nothing. Dixon would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Ironmen are down at the half, 14 to nothing. Excellent job, Dan. The Iron Men get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 14 to nothing. Now let's get to the game. couldn't make the catch. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Cunningham uncorks this to the left side. And this at the 35. First down. Jerry Rice shows here why he's so dangerous after the catch. Great first after he gets his hands on it. Oh, and there he goes. Unbelievable talent. Here they connect with him again. That's the second deep ball he's grabbed today. Well, without an adjustment in that secondary, Dan, I guarantee you he's going to come back for more. Some major yards on that run. 
this is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. baby looking to eat up the yardage here Peter that will put a touchdown in his stat column and that's always nice to have him but so far he's got 65 yards and one touchdown here's the extra point and it's good Kicks it off. Pryor catches it back at the five. <laughs> the 27. Irving Pryor is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Americans stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 27-yard line. Bring up second down. Job. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Third down from the eye. Moon zips it to the left sideline and one hunted down at the 48. Reg Hickenbotham is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. I'm on today. Just keep getting to the right spot. Number 68 penetrates and makes the stop at the 44. Number 68 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. The defensive design worked flawlessly and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long. Gene Robinson made contact on that one when he shouldn't have. That drew the penalty for encroachment. Second down, one man down. Smith had a defender closing in, but was still able to haul that one in. Great execution. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Bunch. 
Lynch on the play, and that... Oh, look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. A big run there. And, you know, that's the first time he's really broken out all game, Peter. He was definitely held in check in the first half. Yeah, but he's busted loose in a major way. who doesn't feel he has to force the issue. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, unless, of course, it was intercepted. He scanned over the matchups, found the right guy, and netted his third touchdown of the day. Oh, Dan, you can't be indecisive in this league, or you won't last very long. Here's the extra point, and it's good. it away. Albright fields the kickoff at the nine. Stop at the 27. Antoine Albright tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Iron Men will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Enjoying the lead, 21 to 7. supposed to stay on his side of the line so he was an ineligible receiver him at work. That is just a great spin move. The defense totally falls for it and cannot get near him. You know, sometimes when the defense is expecting contact, a neat spin away like that can be so effective. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 122 yards on 11 right. carries. Dominant pass, dominant run, a lot of firepower on the field here. Angle takes the handoff and Foley gets back to the line of scrimmage. Point and it's 
good. Epstein sends it downfield. Fryer catches it back at the five. Irving Fryer is going to take this well-kicked ball off to the races. He found a seam and some blocking and a few nice moves to boot. Nice return. The Americans got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 43-yard line. Thomas takes this one way out left and chews up about four on the play. the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's now up to six tackles. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Gene Robinson had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so we got the call for a neutral zone infraction. But I'll tell you, it works, and the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. Finally, he gets the big run that he's been looking for all game. For the first three quarters, he, well, his stats were very quiet, to say the least. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, they were so quiet, you could hear crickets chirping when you looked at them. Obiangelo sends it downfield. Albright balls it in at the 10. Touchdown at the 34. Antoine Albright took the height size kick and ran it back for a gallon sized return. Cunningham throws a heater right sideline and gets one at the 48. Finally gets out of bounds at the top. Steve Casper looks it to the outside and gets a huge game. It's a great play, great execution. Randall Parks faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Cunningham throws this on the rope, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Jerry Rice with a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Tassel makes a tough catch, and at 
will be good for a gain of eight. the yardage here. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball, and now they moved the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. No sign of hurry from the offense. They're going to take it slow here, Dan. They're concerned with one thing right now, and that's the clock.
Cunningham. Zips it to the left side line. And it's complete at the 41, 30, 20, 15, high touchdown. Jerry Rice is going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Peter, the touchdown puts them in prime position to tie this up. Well, all they need to do is knock in the PAT for the tie. The thing is, they could go for two as well, and that would be an interesting call here. They're going for two, and the lead late in the game. Nice play here to pick up the two. Watch this beauty of a catch. Straight to Toosville. That, that's a great play. Epstein kicks it off. Fryer fields the kickoff at the eight. Jukes. Another move. The 37. Irving Fryer got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Americans start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at five. And that is going to do it for this one. Iron Man out on top, 29 to 28. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Rice makes him pay here as he's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. A 36-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Americans answer right back, all at the 44. Thomas got the call on third down, and he did not disappoint. A 38-yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. Later on in the fourth quarter, the Ironmen down by 14. Campbell is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening, and then he's off to the races. They climb back again and are now down by, by seven. The Americans, middle of the fourth, Thomas would find some running room on this one, and then it was off to the races. A 43-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Americans up 28 to 14. Tasker ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 30-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen climb back again and are now down by seven. Coming up on the end of the game, all at their own 25. Rice emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 74-yard touchdown for the home team. And that will do it. The Ironmen squeaked out a win, 29 to 28. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Jerry Rice showed us exactly why he's a legend. What a performance. And I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.